to a coffee with shade. It's been a minute since we've done with these coffee with shades. I'm so happy to be back at it. We've got a lot of sneakers to pick up today. Um, took a lot of W's and i um, pretty excited for this weekend. It's a long weekend, so some of you are probably on vacation right now. Let me know where you guys are on vacation. What's up, Aero Prime HD? Good morning, good morning, everyone. Kelvin Rios in Taizy in the house. Hopefully you guys have already gotten your coffee in you, unlike myself. What's good, E. Williams? Good to have you in here. It is a beautiful day right now. It's like 75 degrees. What's up, Bob Bauman, Singh in Junior 10? Happy, happy Saturday. Happy to have a amazing weather day today. It's been so sporadic. What's up, a freezy the coat? Waiting on my coffee still. I'm not fully awake. Um, <laughs> ah, what's the shoe you got from, from Singapore? Um, interested to see what that rare sneaker is. Today, we are gonna be doing Yeezy pickups pretty much for the extent of today. So good luck to anyone who's going on the confirmed app for those. If you got raffle wins like myself, congratulations. I am waiting to pick up this shoe in about 10 minutes or so. We're gonna walk on over to the store. You hit seven pairs. Wow, a lot, a lot of stock in these Yeezys today, a lot of stock seven pairs you definitely beat me um, I got a lot of pairs though for sure undefeated still has some sizes um, <laughs> UV reactive upper collaboration with limited edition Singapore based store interesting um, yeah seven pairs that's crazy college football and okay all right racer blue and dunks today sounds like a good day Yes, fingers crossed, Adam. Hopefully you're able to take a W today. Anybody else uh, sending you guys all good vibes this beautiful Saturday. Uh, hoping everybody takes a win today. There's a lot of stock on these 350s. Um, sneakers has 350s. Confirmed app. <laughs> 350 looking bricky. Waiting for the Panda Compact 350s. Those look fire those uh those 350 compacts i think that is probably what i'm most excited about honestly for yeezys this month are those compacts so definitely gonna be going hard for those can't wait to get my coffee in me my goodness seven pairs you rather have seven pairs of lost and found chicago we would all love to have seven pairs of lost and found chicago's are you kidding me we're all gonna be lucky to get one of those Oh, we got, we got coffee being brought out. We got a fan right behind us. Um, her son is actually wearing some foam runners today. How sick is that? She didn't like the fit of them, so it was like, here you go, the perfect hand-me-down. I wish my mom gave me hand-me-downs. You were the coolest mom, my goodness. Sorry, mom, I still love you. You just didn't give me foams when I was a child. Good morning, Chris. Good to see you guys all hopping in here. I finally got my coffee. So excited. Um, we're gonna be plugging uh, Cozy this morning. This, uh, this video is brought to you by Cozy. Amazing coffee, amazing sandwiches. I'm gonna have a breakfast sandwich here actually shortly. You guys are gonna see me stuff my face. Uh, <laughs> you're already smelling the L on the lost and found. Don't say that yet. This is uh, from Cozy. I only drink iced coffee, everybody. I drink iced coffee all year round. Even when the winter is going to come, I'm going to be drinking iced coffee. But uh, this is delicious. A little bit of almond milk or, you know, a little bit of oat milk. Bless you. Wow, those are some massive sneezes down there. Jesus. As they used to say, I swear it's not COVID, right? So we are just a few minutes away from heading on over and picking up our first pickup here. Uh, iced coffee. Iced coffee is from Cozy, everybody. Shout out to Cozy uh, for providing me with the best coffee this morning. <laughs> Shade Food Channel. You guys are, I tried to do a food channel. I did one with the uh, Trudunkins. I refuse to take an owl. I think I refuse to take an owl in the Lost and Found Dunks as well. Where is the best place to get coffee? 
There are so many coffee options, let me tell you. Uh, but yeah, this is hitting the spot right now, the size coffee. It's pretty it's warming up here in New York, my goodness. Shade mukbang, let's go. <laughs> With a cup of coffee, I don't know. Would you guys like to hear me just slurp? We will be doing some looks today for the 350 slate, so do not worry. We will have those bread easy 350s. What? Uh, top three favorite coffee shops. Well, I gotta give a shout out to Cozy for sure. Um, ASMR coffee with shade. Would you guys enjoy an ASMR coffee with shade? I don't know about this, everybody. Where are we, where are we going with this? We're talking about the slates dropping today, and here we are with ASMR. <laughs> Um, New York, New Jersey, anywhere on the East Coast, you're going to have an easier time copping just because we have so many options to get raffle options store wise. There's just so many more stores out here per capita. So I feel you guys in the Midwest, in smaller towns, it's very hard to cop because you don't have as many stores per capita like we do here in New York and New Jersey. I mean, and it's just everything on the East Coast is so close, but also, you know, you have so many boroughs in New York that you can actually enter for raffle wins. So we just have a much easier chance. Cali, Cali's got an easy easy out there too. Cali, Miami, any of the major cities, you guys definitely had have it much easier in uh, bigger, larger urban cities. I know. Calvin, it's because it's coffee with shade. We talk about coffee when we do coffee with shade. So, uh, <laughs> and another one, yes. And I also have this amazing looking breakfast sandwich, everybody. Let me show you this right now. How amazing does this breakfast sandwich look right now? Does that look so good? We're gonna like have to take a bite of this. Can we see, sir? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, she, I mean, Chicago gets a lot of raffles as well. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, do you guys see that cheddar cheese on there? This looks amazing. Mmm, wow, wow. That was delicious. And the cheesy bread. I think it's like, um, it's a bagel, but not a bagel. I don't even know what you call these. Congratulations, Adam. You got a cop. Way to go. Yeah, I would say this is kind of a bagel, like a bagel bread. Man, these construction workers are killing my jam right now. This beeping sound, it's like, ugh. What are you even doing? Oh, they're painting. Cozy needs you to sponsor. I, yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll have to give the, the shout out to Cozy to fully sponsor these Coffee with Shade videos since you guys enjoy it so much. Walking on the treadmill and washing me at the same time. Don't fall off the treadmill. Uh, it is kind of like a sandwich, but it tastes like a bagel, everybody. Mm-hmm. Oh, quite good. Quite good. So, we're going to actually start walking out of the store here soon. So I can show you all the Yeezys and ham. I'm going to bring it outside, though, because these look like they change different colors depending on what lighting you're in. That would be funny. I wish I could give you guys all a discount. Yeah, head on over to Cozy. Like give, tell them Shade sent you. See if they give you guys a discount. I think these are individually owned though, so that may not work. <laughs> I don't know if they let me do that. But uh, I'm excited to see these in hand. I feel like a lot of people I've seen already, they've been showing it in studio lighting and I feel like this is definitely a sneaker like you need to bring outside just to kind of see the beige tones and the gray tones in it. Mmm. Monza, actually, if you're a Raiders fan, oh my God, there's the cutest little puppy over there. I need to get this puppy on this camera right now, you guys. I really, really need this puppy. I really have to just show the puppy to all of you. There's the cutest damn dog behind me, I can't. Um, but yeah, Raiders fans, Raiders fans for sure. Like you guys have to get this. This is for you, for sure. Hello from Japan. My good, what time is it in Japan right now? Is it in the evening? I don't even know what time it would be. We've got puppies in the background. We've got people working out in the background. I am doing neither. I have no puppy nor running in me for the weekend. Got a win off of DSG. Congratulations. Uh, yes, I will be doing a Fire Red 3 video for you guys. So stay tuned for that next week. 
Congrats, it looks like people took a lot of raffle wins. Oh my gosh, why do they have to yell over there? It's like you guys are right next to each other. Bob, I am going to be copying those Fire Red 3s because I'm already going to be working on a video for you. What's good, Gareth? Good to see you in here this morning. Good to see everybody hopping in with me. We're just having some cozy breakfast, some coffee. I'm staring at the cutest puppy in the world behind you. You know what, guys? I'm just going to like show you this dog. Look at this dog. How freaking cute is that dog? I'm not going for the Georgetown 60s today. Not doing it. There are lantern flies. I, I swear if a lantern flies on me, you guys are gonna, you guys are going to um, freak out if you see one of these lantern flies land on me. But definitely tell me if you see one. All right, so we're gonna see these easies shortly. Um, I'm gonna show them to you guys in the natural light. So this is definitely going to be a sneaker. I feel like people are very confused at. I don't, why do you guys think people are hating on these today? Oh, what's on feet today? You guys want to see? I've got a special one on today. If you haven't seen this video yet, you need to like go and watch it. But these, that's the bottom of my shoe. We are wearing the Sakai Cortezes today. Sakai Cortezes. Oh my God. I got, I got to show the dog again. One more time. It is just so cute. I can't. Can't. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're wearing the Sakai Cortezes today. Uh, it's not going to rain today, so today I had to bring them out for the first time. Really just breaking them in. Um, but they're super comfortable. Exactly, Jeremy. I, I just, I really think that this is a great colorway, uh, the slates. I'm a fan of it. I think for the fall, winter too, like this is going to be a fire sneaker. Ask how much for the dog, Christopher. I kind of want to ask them, actually. Ah, keep staring at it. Not that you guys aren't cute as well, but this dog is so freaking cute. The ice caramel latte because it looks dark, LMO. Um, You know, I probably should ask her to put some more almond milk in here. It is kind of dark. I don't really drink black coffee. Are any dark, like, just straight black coffee drinkers? Because I don't know if I can do black coffee. I think I always need to have some kind of milk in it. Ah, Scotland in the house. What is up, Scott? Congratulations on the, the 350 win. Um, I did not do any of the sale blue dunks. Uh, they have had, Nike's been dropping a lot of dunks today. They've been just dropping them left and right. Um, I didn't cop any of the dunks the other week, or this past week, when they dropped them on the Nike app. Uh, trade the Cortezes for the dog? I don't think they would allow me to do that. Um, but, oh my God, this dog, though. It keeps going into cozy. I can't. Do you prefer Travis Scott or Off-White collaborations? I think it depends. It depends on which uh, sneaker they're actually collabing on. But I like them both for different reasons. Too late, the dog has got, the dog is still there. You guys want to see? That dog is still there. Look, it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. Look how cute. See? It doesn't want to walk doesn't want to walk didn't want to walk I told you the dog was still there you guys thought it was gone I'm thinking what I can trade her for I don't think she's gonna trade me for anything I would trade a coffee for the dog that's a great trade you've never had coffee before why or a bagel sandwich anyone it looks like an expensive dog for sure mm-hmm you're a true 11 mm. You'd be fine in the true 11, if you're a true 11. I'm in that half size range, so I go up a size, which is usually what I recommend if you do land in that like half size range. But definitely need to do that. The cute, expensive because of the cuteness. Trade the Yeezys for the dog. I mean, yeah, she if, if only she would let me. Oh my god, this dog, literally, she keeps bringing it back and forth. I'm like, bring the dog over here. Stop going back to the store. <laughs> you don't want to get addicted. I know coffee, I guess coffee is an acquired taste. I feel like I, I didn't drink coffee for a long time. I don't even know, actually, if I drank coffee. Did I drink coffee in college? I don't even know. It's time to pick up your reserve. Oh, yes, everybody. I am actually picking up another Tom Sachs sneaker. So I got a couple wins on those. I wasn't sure 
actually what size I was going to be. Did anybody cop the Tom Sachs, the uh, archives? Ultra Boost, should I go 10 or 10 and a half? Mm, I typically, you know, for, for any Yeezys, for those of you sizing, I don't know if you're asking because I just saw the message disappear, but if you're doing any easy 350s, like I always recommend going at least half a size up, but I like extra space in my shoes. Go pet it for a close up for us. Oh my God. This is like the largest family with this dog, by the way. Every time like somebody comes out, it's like a family of like 12 over there. What holiday releases are you excited for? You're looking for, I mean, I think we all want the lost and founds for sure. 350 V2 though is the topic of today. I want to hear if you guys have copped a pair. God, I have like bagel all over my face. I want to know if you guys took wins. Let me know if you hit any raffles today. If you guys are waiting on the confirmed app to come through to let you know if you took a W. I'm going to be picking up Yeezys all day today. I'm also going to head into Mercer Street to actually cop my Tom Sachs second pair. Oh, from France. I've been to Paris and you guys have the best croissants out there. They are so amazing. They are so good. Uh, Cherry Air Jordan 11. Looks like a lot of you guys are looking for the Air Jordan 11. I mean, it, it takes a while, let me tell you. I think that the slates will sell out. Somebody was asking me if the slates are going to sell out, but I, I do think they will. I think they're going to sell out officially. I think people are definitely, when they see these in hand, are going to want them on the black campus fours and the woman's fours. We'll see. I do pretty much a sneaker unboxing every day. Alexander, I have a lot of wins in both New York and New Jersey. So I'm going to be like going around both cities and just like picking up my pairs throughout the day. Sold out in the UK, huh? Um, I did get a V2. For those of you just hopping in, I won a bunch of raffles on 350 V2s today. I love Toronto actually. The snack bar, shout out to the snack bar in Toronto. That's like my favorite place to, to grab a cider. You guys are big into cider out there. Um, threes and 11s. 11, I think that the cherry 11s look great. They just look a little uncomfortable. It looks like, um, I saw a couple people walking around at sneaker events and they said that their feet were in pain for sure. So I need somebody to break my 11s in. I think that's my new jam. Like I need somebody to break those in so they're comfortable. You have the purple canvas fours, but we'll never wear them. They're awesome though. You should wear them. Ah, Bali in the house. Trade you locations for sure. Nike, Serena sneakers coming. Oh man, you know, we may have to do an interview with Serena. I don't know what it's gonna take, but we may have to hit her PR company up and do an interview with her on these sneakers that she's copped. I mean, the all the sneaker unboxings she's been doing for the past week are insane. Um, I like the Serena shoes. <laughs> Lock in shade on this cob. Uh, fours are painful to wear. They are. I was I was wearing fours the other day, breaking them in. Um, my Zed Masters. They were they were a little painful at the end of the day. Seven or seven and a half. Um, I'm a seven and a half. But guys, I feel like my feet are, are growing. I think I may be an eight almost. <laughs> Hiring feet for the break in her shoes. I am. I would do that. <laughs> What's up, Tilt Pop? Good to see you in here. <laughs> what will you do with all the Yeezys you got today? Well, I got them in different size ranges. That's kind of been my new jam is I've been actually going for sneakers in different size ranges just to kind of see like how they are. Rudy, you just woke up. Where are you? Did you have a late night last night? What have you been doing, Rudy? <laughs> we got Padrino in the house, waking up super late. It's like, what time is it already? It's like noon or something? I'm already having breakfast, Rudy. You gotta catch up. My sandwich is already getting cold. I'm gonna have to reheat this. New York, Taisha. <laughs> it's not your feet that are growing. Yeah, have you guys been feeling like shoes are running small these days? Is it just me? I feel like I'm having the size up in a lot of my silhouettes. Um, even the Tom Sachs. The seven and a half, it's super tight. So I won a raffle at Mercer Street in the seven and a half. I'm gonna try that and just see the comparison with my eight. But I think half a size up is perfect for the Tom Sachs, for sure. I'm at Cozy, Rudy. I could be having Cuban right now, but you know, here I am, you know, 
having my sausage and cheddar cheese <laughs> sandwich this morning. What's up, G D Jones TV? Everyone hopping in, let me know if you guys were able to cop the Slate 350s today on raffles, if you're still waiting on the confirmed app. Someone jokingly said these are on sneakers app. Ha ha ha, good one. Half a full size up on the turtle doves. Actually, you know what, on the turtle doves, I will say I think I am more true to size. They run, the V1s are so different than the V2s. So I feel like my size eight that I got was a little on the larger size. I would still play it safe going half a size up, but they don't fit as large as the V2s. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get to see the review live, Jeremy, just in a second. One of those pairs is gonna be walked over to me here. Um, so I wanna show you guys what this uh, pair looks like in hand in the natural light. Uh, do you think they're the best color way out of the pack? Um, I'm not sure if that's the best, but I do think this is an easy color to like really wear with anything you have in your wardrobe. Uh, I did not cop the orange paisley today, but I do think that those are fire. I love anything that they've been coming out with the paisley pattern. I think it's sick, but stick around everybody because we are going to be showing you here in a few minutes what these actually look like in hand in the natural light. I feel like a lot of people have been filming these just in studio lighting. Um, yeah, the shoes have legs. Shoes actually have started to walk over to me lately. That's how, um, that's how we do things here now. <laughs> Cops them for your bro, but you pass on the Yeezys. Uh, what is your favorite Yeezy colorway? I feel like for me personally, I just like darker shades just because when you're walking around the city, your shoes get really dirty. Um, but I feel like this slate colorway is just, it's a really clean color. I think personally, like, it's gonna go great if you are somebody who wears khaki colors all the time, like, olive tones are gonna go great with that, khaki's gonna go great with that, but you can wear it with black, you can wear it with gray. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to show you guys, you know, what these look like in hand here in a couple minutes, just so you can kind of let me know your thoughts of what these look like in the natural light. Do you think they are close to the images? The Oreo Yeezys or the Yeezys that dropped today? Yeah, people are saying these are basically the reverse Oreos. Um, Preferably, I think people are for sure going to go for the Oreos over these, but um, I do think that this is just a nice kind of twist, especially if you're somebody who likes like lighter shades. You got to mix it up in your sneaker collection. We can't all have dark shoes, can we? I mean, I do say I like black all the time, which is a true story, but when we get these in hand here in a few minutes, you guys are for sure going to get a good lighting because the light out here is perfect today. It is so beautiful. Love, love, love the doves, but you haven't been brave. You gotta just put them on, Rubito. Put those bad boys on your feet. Just go all out. The Beluga Reflective or the Zion? Ooh, I personally like the Belugas a little bit more than the Zions, but they're both great. Congrats, everybody. It looks like a lot of you have been taking Ws on raffles today. You gotta get those FLX points up. For those of you who wonder how I win like all of these raffles, I literally bought a bunch of socks and I got my points up. That is like seriously like my trick of the trade. Like if you don't want to spend a lot of money, just get some socks, get like the little things. I loaded up on Crocs. Uh, as long as they're hyped, you're all in, Rob. Of course you are, Rob, you're a hype beast. Uh, what's, what's, that is a, that's a 10 for that dog. I'm about to go jack that dog. I'm literally gonna jack it. Bob, I need a sneaker closet or a sock closet. I literally think I may one day actually end up having a closet just for my socks alone. And that dog is a must cop. I'm literally just, the whole family's been staring at me, you guys. It's like, the hide behind my copy. Straight up staring at me over there. Stop staring at me. Maybe I said I'm gonna steal your dog like 18 times, but you know. But tips, if you're in like the East Coast area like myself, Get those FLX points, you will win every single time on a raffle. And also like do ship to me, also do in-store pickup. I do both, so like I'm actually gonna be getting some shipped to me. I'm picking up some, so do both of those. But you need to get your FLX points up there in order to do your head starts. We've got some great construction workers that are driving behind us. It's a nice beat. Shall we wave to the guys up here? What's up, good morning guys. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> They apologize. I'm like, no, no, no. You don't need to apologize. You're good. Uh, yeah, the day when everybody apologizes for, for being too loud in your life. They're so 
people are so nice sometimes. You know, you actually get people who care, and they're like, "We're so sorry for interviewing your your loud live behind the scenes." You also worry a lot about it. They're literally saying, the mom just put her glasses on. All right, you guys, I have them. I have the Yeezys, all right? So you guys got my back just in case somebody looks like they're walking up on me. Um, but we're gonna show you these live. Let me move the sandwich out of the way. It would be just like me to knock my sandwich into the sneakers. So, oh my God, surprise, look at this box. It is the same box that we've always seen. All right, so let's open these up. We're gonna give it the sniff test, see you know how fresh these smell. Ah, thank you. Curls are like second day curls today, so I appreciate that, Constantine. I, I didn't sleep like a crazy person today. All right, so coming out with the sniff test. They may bring the dog over, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm gonna trade my shoes for this dog, you guys, it's gonna happen right now. We're, we're gonna do this. What's good, Maria? So we, we have the sneakers and uh, this is so different than natural lighting. I'm telling you guys, we gotta like do every unboxing outdoors from now on just because I think studio lighting really messes up the color of sneakers. It really does. There's someone behind me, I know, right? Can you imagine if somebody, if that happened to be live, that'd be terrible. I would, I would probably let them have it to be honest with you. I'd be like, you know what? You must have needed a sneaker more than me. But if it was the Lost and Founds, I would, I would kill somebody. I honestly would kill somebody. All right, so let me bring these up close for you guys to see. What color do you guys think these are? Everybody in the comments right now, write down what color you think these are. Everybody's been comparing these to the Sesame's, but I want to hear it from you. What color are you seeing? Are you seeing beige or are you seeing gray right now? People are seeing cream. Clay, beige, cream. Let me know what color this is. That is the question of the day. People have been confused with the color scheme. We're getting creamous gray, tan, beige, beige, tan, cream, beige, sale. I feel like this transparent like color scheme on the midsole has given me cream vibes underneath. Uh, it looks like light gray to you. It's literally, it kind of looks like gray in, in different lights but also kind of looks beige okay we're gonna get a little closer for you here we're bringing it in even closer see if my camera can really just show you what that prime net looks like up close and personal there how are we feeling about this color scheme gray or beige everybody now that we have it super close sesame okay now it's white <laughs> Where are you seeing the white? I didn't even see white. Oxford tan, darker gray. Let's flip her upside down so you guys can see the bottom of it there. And then we'll pull it away even farther so we can see. Sitting at Shoe Ballast. People, go and get these. I think this is a sick color. If you guys are sitting on these right now, I feel like come winter time, everybody's gonna wish they actually went for this pair of sneakers. I feel like we're still in the mindset of summer right now. And I'm, I'm in fall mode. I'm ready for fall. What's the box label say? Uh, you know what, let's bring the other pair out and then we're gonna look at the box label for you guys all to look at these. Um, let's bring the other bad boy up here. We're copping in New York and New Jersey today for everybody asking me, but I do think this is a very versatile color. I really, really do. So I don't know why people are not going for these. I just think this is a beautiful colorway. They kind of look like darker gray. Yeah, so if I show you guys the laces, let me actually pull this lace down. Because the laces are for sure gray. It's like a heather gray. Picking yours up in two hours but I just want you guys to really get a feel for this colorway because I do think it in certain ways is giving me a gray feel, even more gray than beige actually. Ah, you copped yours from finish line, congratulations. When they find out this is yellow, do they sell them right away for 300? What's up Frank? Uh, it, it is gray, do you guys think that it's starting to look more gray to you? 
or beige. I mean, I think it could go either way in different lights. Like it's given me beige and gray hues. It does look kind of charcoal gray underneath. It's like this kind of ombre fill on the bottom of that midsole. Cop from Foot Locker in Kuwait, congratulations. They need to open a Yeezy store in NYC. I feel like, didn't Kanye just say that he was gonna be opening up a bunch of Yeezy stores? Isn't that just recently in the news here? Took an L on full size up, found your half size and took a chance. Ah, good luck to you, Carl. Sale beige, cop from champs. You saw, I always saw them as gray. <laughs> now they're looking blue. Are they looking more blue to you? Like a beluga kind of colorway? Confirmed up says slate core black slate. They give you military vibes. I could see the military vibes going on. Uh, the stripe here is definitely black. Um, you heard it <laughs> in the land of first. Put them on. All right, yeah, let's let's put one on my foot. Why not? Okay, we're gonna hold this up. Shall we put one on? Let's put this, let's put the right one on so you guys can see them actually. I'll put the right one on and you guys can see what these bad boys look like here. Oh wait, we gotta take the paper out. How many of you have done that mistake where you forget that this is inside your sneaker and you try and shove your foot in? Just let you guys know that's a model trick. Half the time, the clients don't have my size, so you know what they do? They give you this to stick in your shoe. It's messed up, right? <laughs> my, okay, so we just ha are wearing some no-show socks here, um, but we're gonna put this on my foot. I literally feel like I'm gonna knock my freaking thing down here, but we're gonna move this over here. Okay, we're moving them over. So this is this side on the light on foot. What size did I even grab in these? Eight and a half. Wow, this is an eight. Guys, the Yeezys are running super tight, like really snug, really snug. So if you literally, I went from going from a seven and a half in these, which is my true to size, to an eight, which is half a size up. I need to go minimum, like minimum, a full size up now. They definitely, like, this is where, I wanna show you guys, this is where my toe is, and that's with me not actually standing up. They're literally at the edge of the toe box here. And the prime knitting on these is so much tighter. Um, so definitely have to go at least half a size up on these, but like, I've been going a full size up, and literally, like, my feet are at the edge. There's no more, there's no more room left. Literally, no more room left in these. So I recommend going up half a size to full size, literally. Um, oh wow, you go up a full size in your Jordans even. But the prime net, let me just show you guys the flexibility on these bad boys. It's really tight. It's gonna take some time to actually break that, break that in. All right, so now we're gonna flip over the other side so we can show you the striped side of these on foot. I think people think I'm weird right now walking by. I think I look really funny showing you guys my leg. <laughs> What's up from Brazil? Good to see you guys hopping in here. Um, people are starting to wake up now and I'm starting to look really funny. Um, but we're gonna show you this side of the sneaker. So what do you guys think? Do you like the stripe and the color scheme? I like that I have green behind me so you can actually see you know what this looks like but I'm gonna bring this camera down here so we can see it you know so this is an eight and a half and again like look at where my toe comes this is where my toe is and I'm typically a seven and a half so just so you know like this is a full size range up that's how much your foot gets pushed up and that's not even me standing on these so, <laughs> waving legs in the air, I know. It's, it's really funny. I think this dog may be coming over here. I'm so excited, I'm looking over at them. It's so cute. All right, I'm gonna work this trade, you guys, for this puppy dog here in a second. Yes, hit that like. We got a lot of people in here today. I really am so happy that you guys are here with me live talking about these because I want you to really get a feel for what this looks like color-wise. I feel like the photos just don't do this justice, really. Shirtless dude just passed. Did, did he wave behind us? I didn't even see that. What's up, Sean? Good to see you. Oh my God, the dog's coming, you guys. The dog is coming. 
I'm so excited. I can't wait. What, guess what name the dog is. Everybody guess what name you think the dog's name is. All right, come on over. What's your dog's name? Coco. Oh my God, Coco, everybody. Let's bring Coco here. She is so cute. Hi, Coco. What kind of dog? A Cavapoo. A Cavapoo. How old? 14 weeks. 14 weeks, everybody. She's 14 weeks old. So we're going to trade the puppy for some sneakers. Today. Would you trade me for sneakers? Yeah. See, I told you guys it wasn't going to work. She is so cute. Can she do tricks yet? Uh, no, not really. No? No tricks? She can sit. She's going to be so famous. You're going to have the most famous little Cavapoo. Coco, do you have an Instagram? No. No, no not Instagram. Yet, not yet. Hey, what should Coco's Instagram be, everybody? We got to give Coco an Instagram, and should we see if she fits the shoe? Grab that sneaker. Let's see. Let's see how big the sneaker is compared to her. I think the sneaker is actually the same size as Coco. She's so cute. She's like a baby. She just goes limp in your arms, huh? Yeah. She's so adorable. You guys want the dog, or do you want the shoe? Everybody wants your dog. See, see the chat going on, curly Coco. <laughs> She's got the same curls as me. We kind of match. I know, we could be twins. All right, Coco, you are the cutest. Say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> She's so cute. Bye. Thanks, girls. Bye. She's officially the cutest dog. That just made my day, you guys. I love that dog so much. She is so cute. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, like a baby Chewbacca literally like a baby Chewbacca. She's so adorable. All right, so the trade didn't work. <laughs> I can't do that, Sabir. It looks like a legit teddy bear, right? That's what I felt like. She's so adorable. So cute. The dog is with its owners right now. She is freaking cute. I know. I wish I could just hang out with puppies all day, but instead I have all of you to hang out with instead of puppies, but that would be a great channel, Puppies and Kicks. Any nominations for puppies and kicks? Because I feel like that would be a great channel where I just hang out with puppies all day and show you these. Uh, but Coco was like the size of the sneaker. So I don't know what that means here. How much is the doggy in the window? She was not for sale. I, I wish I could have traded Coco for some sneakers, but they weren't they weren't budging for the, the cute little mini Chewbacca. But again, guys, I got these on raffles. All of my wins were on raffles. So if you entered any raffles, I always tell people to enter every raffle because you will win. If you have high FLX points as well, like just go in the store, buy some socks. I swear to God, somebody is playing like the loudest sound in the background. And I'm like, why? Why do you have to be playing your loud video right now? Uh, is it more beige than gray? What do you guys think, everybody? People are asking, is this more beige to you or gray? Look at the heat behind me. Jesus, do you guys see that? There's so much heat walking behind us, but I'm like blocking people's feet. Half a size up, minimum half a size up. I just showed my foot and knees. I want a full size up and I literally come to the edge here. Uh, but these definitely run much smaller. The molds this year and the prime knitting has been way tighter than last year, I will say. So if you are going to get these, you have to minimum go up half a size. Your actual true size is going to be way too small for you. So I'm typically a seven and a half. I went with an eight and a half on these. Uh, but definitely if you don't want your feet literally trying to just protrude out of this prime knitting section, go half a size up. Champs app, congratulations, Shara. Uh, not happy to hear about the sizing problem, yeah. So uh, the prime knit as well, I feel like this year has just been a lot tighter than usual. Um, I'm not sure what they change with the manufacturing and just like the prime knitting itself, but the prime knitting was already a little snug, I feel like, in the past years, but this year, for some reason, it's been the tightest I've ever felt. What's up, Terrence? Yes, yeah, so always go half a size up. And also, you guys can see, like, in the back here, it just, your heel doesn't go all the way back. It's almost like you have a head start in your sneaker, which I don't know is what you want. Um, what's up, Nitro? Uh, so I always say to people, just imagine that your heel is not hitting the back here. It's starting from here, basically. Uh, so you're literally losing a good percentage of the sneaker itself. 
Where can you find sale laces? Um, Slickies is actually like my favorite place to get different colored laces. So look up Slickies. Uh, Slickies has every single color, every single like variation of lace. So what's up from Oregon, Pacific Northwest in the house. I would recommend going to Slickies. They have literally every single color of lace. I've gotten like some pastel pink laces from them, some turquoise laces from them. Uh, but highly recommend going to them because they have like every type of style and every color. Too narrow the toe. Yeah, I mean these are, these do run pretty narrow. Um, so just for like foot reference, I do have like really high arch narrow feet. If you have like flatter wider feet, you're for sure going to have to size up on these. Um, <laughs> Good morning, Marty from Cali. Slickies. So uh, we're going to post Slickies. For those of you looking for like a good place to just order laces from, uh, Slickies is literally like the gods of all laces. They have every lace. I've gotten so many laces from them. Uh, we're going to type in Slickies. I'm going to have one of my mods type in Slickies and maybe we can put actually there. Slick, Slickies Laces. The link is in the chat. So you guys check out Slickies. What's up from Milwaukee? And uh, that's where you can find like any type of lace. So if you guys are even looking to swap out these laces, they have this style. They've got every single style of lace known to man. So check out Slickies. Get your different colors. 13 and a half. Are you typically a 13 spoil boy, Nico? How many centimeters are you talking about like centimeters or are you talking about like the lace like the width because they do have different types of like lengths so you can order shorter length longer length uh, but that is definitely something that you should look at as far as like how you like to tie your laces so if you're somebody who doesn't like to have a lot of extra lace you can actually order on slickies like a, a shorter lace which is nice all right 165 of you in here i just picked up my first raffle win we are actually about to head out to go pick up my other wins i'm also gonna have like a live styling for you guys what's my skincare routine uh i wear lots of different types of moisturizers but maybe we'll do a skincare routine one of these days for you guys to know what i do for my my skin to keep it glowing uh what are you sipping today i have my coffee everybody since this is coffee with shade, it wouldn't be coffee with shade without my cup of coffee. All right, so final, final color. What are we get guessing and letting people know? Because everybody wants to know, are these beige or gray? I leave the factory tab my Yeezys and I slip these bad boys on. But what is the final verdict on these? So we got light gray on the board. Are people thinking it's light gray or are we thinking this is beige or tan? What's up, Alex? <laughs> I, I will put a morning routine up one of these days. We are getting to beige, beige, gray. I mean, it's like 50-50. People think it's gray and beige. So this is like, it's a hard one. It really is, but... This is the best lighting you're gonna get on these. We are in the elements, we are outside in the natural light. Dark tan, tan. So we got tan, beige, and gray. Gray. Gray seems to be the leader of the pack here, so. I definitely think that the black is giving it more of a gray feel in different lighting. Oh guys, I was selected for the Yeezy Boost 350 on confirmed just now. I just got my notification. And my 230 build charge on Amex. So here we go. Another one to the list on this. So I guess, you know, we might just have to test out the variations and the quality control uh, on all these from different stores. Shout out to everybody. Cop and W's on the confirmed app. Looks like the confirmed app is sending out notifications now. So congrats to everybody who's picking up W's right now. It's a big win for you if you got it on the confirmed. <laughs> gotta love seeing that that charge come through it hurts at the same time because it's like i just am 230 dollars poorer than i was earlier but uh we just got another w uh so we're gonna be picking up my tom Sachs day and that seven and a half i want to see exactly like the sign variation 
Um, but then we are gonna be picking up a lot of these today. I'm gonna be putting up again a styling video on these, but here is a quick last look before I go on what these look like. Oh yeah, somebody was asking uh, the box. Let me just pull out the box here so you guys can see. Somebody wanted to know the code on here, so let me show you that. Here you have it. So there you have it. And uh, this was a Foot Locker raffle win, everybody. So for those of you wondering where these came from, I just picked these up from Foot Locker. And there you have it. If you're in here and you like these lives, be sure, oh, excuse me, I almost sneezed there. Uh, be sure to hit that like button right now. It lets me know. We got like a, a thousand people in here, it feels like. So get us to a million likes in here if we can, at least. It lets me know that you guys like these lives and we'll start to try and do more Coffee with Shades. Also, um, leave me any comments or questions in that comment box, but also hit that subscribe, you guys. I wanna give you some free Yeezys. So I'm not gonna do it till we hit 50K and we are so close to 50K, I can taste it. Literally, we're so close to 50K. I'm gonna be literally giving out Yeezy slides left and right. I have so many that I've been saving for this massive 50K giveaway. And you know what, maybe, maybe should we give away a pair of these? I've got some extras. Maybe we'll be thrown in a pair of the slates as well in part of that giveaway. Uh, but I literally wanna just give you guys something special for all of your support. It's just been, a few years and we're already almost to 50k which means that that 100k marker is just around the corner uh, but get us to 50k if you're jumping in here for the first time and you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button it really means the world to us at the shea team just because we are trying to get as much content that's high quality out to you every single day uh, and we're gonna be doing more lives for you because I know that you guys love these. I love chatting with you as well. And congratulations to everybody who took W's today, especially if you got raffle pickups. Um, I would even walk into stores, you guys. Like if you have a local Foot Locker and there's a lot of people sometimes that actually don't pick up their sneakers and they have extras and they're willing to do like a first come first serve basis. Ah, Marty, appreciate the sub. Um, appreciate all you guys giving these likes as well. It really is the only way for me to know that you enjoy this content and you want more of it. Uh, so yeah, it looks like these are also in a few sizes sitting on other sites, but these will sell out for sure. These are gonna sell out. So definitely snag a pair, don't wait on it. I think this is an amazing colorway. Don't listen to what people are saying about talking crap on these. I think this is a sick colorway. It may not be the best of the year, but I definitely think this is one of the most versatile colors I've seen in this specific silhouette. Again, size range. Uh, I know, everybody wanted to see what I wore. So I already showed you guys, but I'll show you again. We got the Cortezes on today. The Sakai Cortezes, that's right. Breaking them in, breaking them in. Raffi Pass? I don't know. I'm keeping a couple pairs of these. I think this color is sick, so if somebody passed on them, the more the merrier for myself to have these because I've already had people I feel like complimenting and giving me winks on these bad boys. So this is going to be a great color for the fall. Don't wait on these because come fall, these are going to be sold out and you're going to be wishing that you snagged a pair of these. Again, I just, I think this is going to go great with all my khaki stuff that I've already got lined up for the fall time. I'm in fall mode right now. I'm ready for that like hot cocoa, pumpkin spice latte. I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm here for it. And I'm going to be drinking that latte with these on. All right, everybody. Again, hit that like if you have not already. Enjoy the rest of your coffee this morning. Have an amazing long weekend. It is Labor Day weekend. For those of you heading back to school, I'm sorry. I remember I loved and hated this weekend because I knew I had to go back to class starting on Tuesday, usually right after the holiday. Uh, and hopefully you cop these to wear on your first day of school because I think this would be a good selection. Um, Confirm draw going out now. Yes, it is. So congrats to anybody who caught the Tom Sachs as well. Really, congratulations. Um, do the Sakai's make you taller? I think the Sakai's do make me taller actually. They give you at least a half an inch, at least. Um, but happy Labor Day weekend, you guys. Go enjoy yourselves. If you're in the East Coast right now, we are having some of the best weather I think I've ever had this summer because there's no humidity. It's just, it's like 20% humidity or something like that. But get me to 50K, you guys. I wanna start doing some giveaways for you. I wanna give you all that I can for all the support that you've given me since day one. 
Again, we are a female-based channel, so as you know, it is much harder for us ladies to be growing on this platform, and so all of the support we can get from you means the world, and it just goes to show that, you know, the girls can do it too, and I love doing unboxings for you guys. Humidity is the worst, Rudy. Uh, but we are now gonna go on this trek of copping sneakers. I'm gonna be driving all over New Jersey and New York today, picking up the rest of my 350s. Uh, congrats to everybody who caught the Fire Reds as well. Stay tuned for the Fire Red 3 video from me. I'll have that out to you guys probably middle of next week for a full on like unboxing. But also hit your notifications because I'm gonna actually be posting a video of these fully styled. Um, so hopefully you guys will like the styling selections I've offered you. Um, but again, we will catch you later tonight. Anyone own a longboard? I actually used to in Miami. I used to go longboarding all the time. Uh, but we'll do a styling section for you this evening. So again, thank you so much, everybody who jumped in here for this live Coffee with Shade. Hit that like button on your way out. Pretty, pretty please. And hit that subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel because we want to do that giveaway. Definitely want to do it as soon as we possibly can. So. Happy Labor Day weekend. We will catch you all later. I'm gonna go cop some more of these sneakers again. Shout out and congrats to everybody who took a W on these today. We'll see you all on the next live.